Picking up school bus drivers is a challenge every year, but right now it's worse than it has ever been. Just about every district around Tampa Bay is dealing with a shortage. One superintendent requested help from the National Guard. But as our Liz Crawford found out, Pasco County schools didn't qualify. A shortage so bad an entire district is changing start and dismissal times for school. Unless dr bus drivers fell out of the sky, this, this is the best option that we have, which is not a good option at all. Pasco County School leaders say they tried everything. Job fairs, increased pay, flashy advertisements. The bottom line is, is that we started the school year about 120 bus drivers short. The district even went a different route, requesting help from the National Guard. My understanding is the National Guard only comes in when there's a state of emergency. Uh, I think there's an emergency, uh, but uh, not an officially declared state of emergency. A major with the National Guard told me 177 troops have been activated in Massachusetts to bus kids to and from school. The request came from the governor. So the impact is huge. Um, sometimes we don't get back in. I've come in um, at 630 in the evening being done with my route that should have been done at 430. Districts across Tampa Bay are hiring anywhere from 40 to 150 drivers as soon as possible. If approved, Pasco's new school schedule would start in January. Now we reached out to the Department of Education and the governor's office about whether Florida is considering calling in the National Guard to drive school buses. A spokesperson with the Department of Education says Pasco County's request never made it to their office. Now, the National Guard can assist our country in a variety of ways. Let's take a deeper dive into some of the missions our National Guard soldiers are on right now. This is a look at some of the states using National Guard troops across the country. A group of 20 troops are in Indiana helping with Afghanistan refugee efforts. 50 others are still helping as Louisiana recovers from Hurricane Ida. Roughly 300 troops are in California and Wyoming as they battle wildfires. And about 13,000 troops are helping with COVID operations across the country, including vaccine and testing sites.